about to the rebuilding stage. All right, it's a new day. You guys may notice it's a little brighter in the shop. All right, so lights are done. Let me show you guys. Place is bright. It is unlike it's ever been before. So thank you very much. If you guys want to see what this guy does, you need to run over to his channel. Saban Shop Works. Saban <laughs> Shop Works. And check out what he does. He does a little bit of everything. You'll see some electrical, you'll see some cool builds, lots of fun stuff. It's, it's a lot like what we do here in Fab Rats. Check him out and uh, see if you like what he's got going on. For all of you OCD people that hated my line of lights down the middle, yep, they're gone. So thanks to Saban Electric, they hooked us up and came and uh, made things look uniform and bright in here. It's pretty dang nice. But today, tow truck day. Front end is all built, it's sitting over there. We're gonna gut this old stuff out of it and get some four links put in it. What's up, Mr. Tater Salad? Nothing. You ready for some baseball action? Yeah, we're gonna win. That's right. All right, so basically I'll, I'll walk you through. We're gonna strip the whole front of this. Everything's coming off. And then we're gonna box the inside of this frame, clear to the back with a quarter inch plate. So we got a lot of work ahead of us and we'll get cracking on it. I haven't had this pry bar. I've lost it. It's been a long time. Now she's getting, she's getting rebuilt. She's gonna be the best pry bar in the drawer now. All this stuff's going on the wood truck. I'll leave it all hooked up. Oh yeah, she's a prior now. Look at that. Nice new grabby thing on the end. Square end. Until we hit it with some hammers and stuff, but it's good now. You haven't even welded the frame on this one. Nope. When we put this in the last time you bend it in half, this one was a good one. See, and once you go two-wheel drive steering box, they don't break frames anyway. Because you're swinging a different way than... Yeah, you're not pushing out. Yep. Okay, Sean. It's on bolt. On bolt. Ben only left his thing box. You know it is? The... Half inch impact gun. Over here. Oh, yeah. I took the wheels off and left it on the ground. Right where you used it last year, like one of my kids. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Okay, Len, we got to get all the shocks off this thing. These were new in the 40s. Brake lines. You're on brake line duty. Get those off. Are you eating my candy bars? Maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you. Pro yeah. comp. These were on the old Dodge Dakota back in the day when I built that. They're still good though. There's a pro comp that's good. <laughs> that is a valid argument. You guys should tell us in the comments, what's your favorite off-road shock? Ooh, yeah. I haven't come up with one yet. I don't know. We'll I, see. I know the best kind, free ones. <laughs> that's what these are. Well, see, they're pretty good. All right, that can all stay together. Ouch! My blood. Where's oh. that white powder? Go on top of the fridge. You can for the fridge. Dab her up. If she starts leaking bad, I'm not old like Ben. My skin's a little oh, thicker still. Oh. Getting pretty cold in here. Look at that. That's real live blood. Yeah. Shocks yeah. off. Steering box off. You know what's we should get invest that they make ratchet wrenches with out of these. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. They're pretty cool. Why don't you buy me a set? Father's Day's coming right up. Oh, look at that. I mean, hint hint. Oh top. You get that top side. I'm done bleeding, so. I appreciate it. Get her. So these are uh, 52 inch rear springs off a of half ton. We did the long leaf conversion to the front of this old girl. So it rides good. This is probably what we ought to put on Landon's truck. You mean that one that needs a motor? A mo yeah, tire? That one. <laughs> I think we've got that handled. <laughs> I think old school garage is gonna load that 6.0 
and that 4L80 up and take it back with him. And he's gonna build Lando a motor that red lines at like 2100 RPMs. I don't know if so, that's high enough. So he keeps it from blowing up. It's he, gonna have a Bluetooth rev limiter. That's right. I can be like, shut land and struck down. <laughs> <laughs> Should we jack down that front end and or we can just it. take the rear tires off and set it down. Alright, plasma cutter I guess. That's the only way because this is welded tight. I plead the fifth. I guess we need to pull these motor mount ones out first. And then I'll cut these two nut things or two rivets. Should be able to beat those out of there. So our goal, I'm gonna set the motor down a whole lot lower and it's going to be like almost touching firewall. I need it back. And then the front end, in my mind, the center of the front end is going to be right here. We got to get frame patched, motor bolted in it, then we'll roll the front end under it. I just want the front end to miss the dampener pulley, basically, is what I'm after. And then we got to figure out how to make this thing as low as we can make it. And then we'll just start trimming body panels to make that all look right. As long as this tire doesn't come up and rip my air conditioner off, because you got to have cold air blowing on you when you're out doing a recovery. That's going to be a 37 inch tire or a 40? 37. So they don't make a load rated 40 really yet. So I want to put a 37 that we can put some weight on it and not worry about blowing out. Yay. Yes, cool. How long has it been since you've seen one of these flashlights? Oh, it's been a minute. Six volt. That was as light he had behind the seat. Well, if it died, you could just charge it back up. Probably jump start your car off of it. Look at that. Bayonet style. Noise. Son of a gun. Take a feel of that. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Name that movie, Landon. Crocodile Ooh, Dundee. You got, got it. Got it. Your pride and joy? Yeah, until the motor burned up. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. He smoked right now? Yeah, it won't move. You it'll got, it'll turn, but it won't move. You got some problems with motor. Well, engines and motors. Yeah, I do. Wait, you yeah. the motor up on that? Yeah. Man. It was the motor that Jay's burned up in uh, Moab. So you're blaming it on your brother? Yeah. That does happen, doesn't it? I never knew really nothing. He was meaning his elder brother, James. <laughs> well, that's because he's not here. What was dad's famous saying? You could tear up a crowbar in a sand pile. That's yeah. what he used to tell us all. But Ben and James were way worse than I was. <laughs> right. These guys ruined everything. I couldn't even have anything to drive when I got old enough to drive. They'd already ruined it. I think the mine still ran, didn't it? The Impala? It was short-lived after that. After the wash. The, the window is still broken in it, setting up to Billy's from Jerry's forehead that you... <laughs> we yeah. missed a turn. We a missed little teenager. Time. Maybe you come by this rightfully. Maybe. All right, two more bolts. I got like nine and a half Pringles, so take your time. This is all gonna be custom tube work here. That's another size. Those are through the other way. Six and a half Pringles. <laughs> you gotta appreciate that effort, don't you? I like it. Hey, I've worked on Hondas. I get it. See? <laughs> Got him! Is there another one? Yes. There's two of them for sure. I was hoping you'd pick up one. That's what winning looks like. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at that? All right. I'm going for it. Scalpel. Is that gas tank fairly plugged up? Yeah, you'll know in a minute. <laughs> okay. All right, most flammable stuff's dealt with. We're going for it. Probably barn some air things. 
Now give her a yaw. That doesn't appear to be very loose. As it is. I'm welded on this. Let's prying it in somehow. It's welded all the way along the bottom of that. I told you it was. That's uh, probably yeah. what. Let's lift her up and we'll uh, fix that. Hit that with a hammer. I'll get it. Fire. Get her. Hey, look at that. Alright. Got it. And it's not on fire. Did someone well that it? It appears. Yeah. Huh. Didn't want that falling out, did I? Hit that with one of them things. Alright, my work here is done. Going to a baseball game. I guess you gotta trim these front ones. Probably we don't need these. Or the shock mounts. Or these bump stops. You can probably pull these can come out, they're gonna turn into our uh, motor mounts. And then we can grind the frame all up and uh, I'll pass the torch. <laughs> See ya. See him roll over? Scout, you think you can do it with a camera on you? Sit. Shake. Shake. Come on. There it is. Lay down. Roll over. Roll over. All the way. There it is. Good boy. Looks like he's got it. Yep. They have people send dogs to you to train from now on. I hope not. Alright, it's a new day. We're all in the shop this morning on the tow truck again. So I went to a baseball game last night. They didn't win, but they played pretty good. These boys got the frame completely stripped out. Well, about stripped. Randall's getting all the rest of the hoses and stuff out, but it's all cleaned up, ground. Ben's back here removing the, the fuel tank, getting it all ready to rock. I don't know why why the tank would leak with all those dents and stuff in it. Hard to imagine. Holy cow. <laughs> well, it, well, it had a skid plate on it. Probably a good thing, but... <laughs> Nevertheless, all right, this is the fallout moment. Let her hit. Oh, there it is. We're about to the rebuilding stage. I think so. I'm trying to decide if I want to saws all that off right there and just get that bumper out of our way for now. That yeah, lose a bunch of weight. It. We're shortening it anyway. Yeah. It is. That was heavy. So the game plan is, it's probably going to get shortened again. The rear bumper will be tied into the rear shackles and stuff when we get this done. So that was just extra weight that was trying to tip us over in the front. She's uh, stripped now. Wiring's out of it, brake lines, fuel lines, everything is out. So now all we got to do is start cutting some cardboard templates, get these pieces made, then we can set a motor in here, figure out where we want it, how low we want it, and go to putting motor mounts in it. Cardboard cutouts. Then we can cut it out and just kind of place it in there. Look how pretty. I might have passed art class. We'll see if he likes it. We can do another one down underneath. Well, that should be good there. Now we're building this frame thing and I guess we gotta do both sides, huh Randall? Yeah, they're a little different. I don't know if your old man had this in places that were 
<laughs> too courteous to this old frame, but they're folded a little different. There's a bulge here and a rise over there. And this one is a little different on this side, but it'll be all the same. While these guys were tracing panels out, I was up sprinkler and I got mud on me and had a guy pull in my yard yesterday and ran over a sprinkler and broke a line and had to fix it. Now we're back to the tow truck. Good old Chevrolet, huh? Yeah, they're just a little bit different. Okay, well, so, I guess we'll start cutting. That was the only option we had. So Front right. You guys even labeled them. Look how efficient Hey, and are. I put arrows just because, <laughs> yeah. you know, right and left don't mean nothing. Not a whole lot to me most <laughs> of the time. How wide does it cut? Um, about like that. I'll get my CNC skills out. And then you can get your grinding skills out and fix whatever I screw up on. Going new tip, so these are all straight. That's Perfect, the, huh? Well, there'll be less grinding if we do this. Thank you. That's what we're doing. We're gonna drop a new consumable and a new tip. So there's a difference in these. I don't know if everybody knows this. That's a gouging tip. This is a cutting tip. This one's for cutting nice little straight lines. This one's for blowing like a whole weld out of a piece. It's not gonna penetrate deep, but it's gonna blow a big old chunk of weld out. So technically, when I was cleaning my front end off a couple videos ago, this would have been the tip to put on. Way too lazy to switch all that stuff out, so I just burned these up. But he has it. Well, I got it. Look at it, it's still brand new, never even been used. Right now, <laughs> go away. She ain't going nowhere now. Except for when she does. <laughs> I can get out of sticky situations. I'd go as far back as you can go. There you go. My wife's in Canav. She said she'd bring some burgers over to us. Yeah. So now we can just Head tap on. her. Get a pry bar and a tapper. A little more tap tap. Whoa, that was a lot. More, a little more right there. Tap it in. Tighten that up. I'm going to attempt to lay a beat down. Let that down just ever so slightly. Okay. I don't want to have to get the Smurf ladder. Okay, I guess hit that with a hammer. All right, let's hit it. Try not to knock it off the hoist and kill me. Filling gap there. Where up? How's that look? I weld it. You hit it all tight. It's getting closer. I can weld that. Let me... 
There's that, we'll let down finish the other side. Ready for a little more. Yep. And you There's some pickle to spare. You're hungry. Machine. You've got to try one. I'll try some. Never tried it before. Have you ever had pickled asparagus? Just now. And get one. It tastes just like pickled asparagus. It's good pickling, though. Oh, there's a carrot. That ain't a carrot. That <laughs> was hotter than the freak. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why would you do that to me? I was turned because that I hot. That is not a carrot, Michelle. So yeah, Matt and Jen Gibson from Idaho. You're awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we get approved. I knew you loved us. Dude, I came very food. Awesome. Thanks for the food. You're welcome. Left side in, right side's about ready to roll. We're close. We're uh, we're just doing some gap filling. We're doing what Chevy should have done in 84 when they built this. They had to have known we were going to pull four <coughs> times its weight. They didn't anticipate your old man putting 17,000 pounds of logs on it. I don't claim any responsibility for that sway bar. That was all dead. He thought that that was going to solve his problems. Have the death level. Well, when you put 17,000 pounds on it, it swayed pretty bad. <laughs> Only 17. Yeah, I mean, 15 is okay. I told him many times, I'm like, Dad, I don't think the sway bar is going to fix that. But well, this thing was lightly used. Maybe some load rated tires and a two ton would do it. What well, did it? It didn't drag the log out when it, the stump ran into the other one. That's when it bent in half. I was trying to tell him to whoa, but there was no, it was go. I got back to the- <laughs> Whoa and go sound yeah, a lot just, alive. Uh, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Me and Matt had that problem once on the Golden Nugget. Oh yeah. Thing. Go, stop, go, stop. Stop it. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Oh, and he was like, go, and I'm like, no, go. <laughs> Wet in the river, I don't know. Eh. Okay, let's start. Well, I still got lots to weld in here. Yep, the top. Other than that, she's almost all in. All right, I'll, I'll just do it. Frame is plated. This thing just has to be tough. That's it. Tough and light ish. Frame plates are in. The truck is substantially tougher than it once was. So, next time we'll try to get a motor stuffed in it so we can build some link bars, get a front end under it. We'll get it figured out. Thanks for watching.